Welcome to dot reddit most traumatic experience with a teacher, where teacher doesn't let a student who is on her period go to the bathroom. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe as I want to hit 100 subs soon. I was bullied really bad. Kids kept drawing awful ugly photos and leaving them on my desk with profanity towards my appearance. I had enough one day after dealing with a lot of abuse at home and the bullying at school and when I saw another broke down crying and brought it to my teacher. She just grabbed it looked and asked if I wanted it back. Did nothing to help, wouldn't listen to me about the constant bullying and did absolutely nothing. I was in 7th grade and still remember it to this day. When I was in high school I got a lot of nosebleeds. Like a lot. So I got one in the middle of class and I asked the teacher for a tissue. She said she didn't have any. So I asked to go to the toilet. To get one then she said no. Soon I asked again when blood what dripping from my hands and she yelled at me for repeating myself which is apparently bad. Soon a puddle of blood was on the table then I got sent to isolation for backquote disrupting the class. I was then suspended for backquote acting inappropriate during class. She was then fired for putting my life at risk. I gotta say, when you get a nosebleed like that, you really see how much blood is inside of you. Edit. Thank you anonymous redditor for a reward. Edit. For those saying I'm dramatic for saying backquote putting my life at risk it was the school that said it, not me. I didn't consider it risking my life. I'm 65, and I still remember, when I was 6 and the nun told me to wash my desk and then wring out the sponge, and when I squeezed it instead of twisting it, told the whole class that my mother was a bad mother because she had not taught me correctly. I knew if I protested that my mom was a good mom I would be punished. It still bothers me that I didn't stand up for her. Why did that nun have to put me in that position? Good damn it. Mine is more of a light-hearted traumatic. In 4th grade I collected UGIO cards, and I had gotten the, at the time, new 3 Egyptian god cards. While well, I was caught playing with them during class and my teacher took them from me, and threw them out. I was devastated after all the packs opened, and cards traded to acquire them. I never forgave her. Did they ever end up being worth anything before all the reprint boxes? I would love to see her face, if she found out they were worth some coin. Edit, the teacher was an older southern lady in her 60s, so she was definitely in that mindset that she had 100% say in whatever she did with our personal belongings. Pretty sure if corporal punishment was still allowed I would've gotten the paddle on several occasions. I wasn't the only one who lost cards that day. Buddy who sat next to me had his black magician of black chaos and blue eyes ultimate taken from him. My 4th grade teacher had a reputation for making one boy in her class an unpopular scapegoat each year. Lucky me. In previous years I'd been just another kid in the playground, but within 2 months the other kids wouldn't play with me during recess. One day I refused to go outside for recess. She asked why, and I foolishly told her that the other kids didn't like me. When they came back in, she marched me to the front of the class and asked for a show of hands who didn't like me. 4th grade kids, mostly, did what 4th grade kids do. I broke down that night and told my mom what had happened and what had been going on all along. She marched into school the next day, got a meeting that included the principal and tore the teacher a new asshole. I was still stuck in that class, but the teacher moved on to a new victim. Funny thing how self-esteem influences academic performance. My school used to give us a Stanford Bean at IQ test every year. My score dropped 10 points from 3rd to 4th grade, then rose 20 points in 5th grade, when I had a nurturing teacher. If you are still alive, F you, Mrs. Erickson. Teacher told me I was a liar to the whole class as she didn't believe my grandmother was a World War II evacuee. She refused to believe me as she assumed my mom was younger than she looked at the time, and therefore my grandmother was younger as well. She thought my mum was in her late 20s when in reality she was in her early 40s at the time. Conversely had a teacher when I was in primary school who couldn't believe that a student had no grandparents who were old enough to be asked about their experiences in WW2 for a project we were doing. This was in 1999-ish so not too hard to imagine that just involves having two generations have children in their early 20s. Literally got the parents in because she thought the child was being deliberately obstructive and didn't want to do the work. Didn't traumatize me personally, but I had a first year lecturer in classics who went out of his way to terrorize the class. 
His first words to us were, I suspect as many as half of you cannot read. He then administered a test, which two thirds of the class failed. He was not shy about voicing his rather gleeful displeasure. I did well enough to avoid his wrath, and, annoyingly, get singled out for praise. He would routinely throw questions at students, who weren't paying rigorous attention, in a 3 hour lecture on Friday morning, and then berate them for not knowing the answers. His comments on papers were beyond trenchant, are you illiterate? Do you imagine this makes sense? This is childish, etc. The unfortunate part is, that he was a superb classicist. A close second was a novelist turned writing prof who hurled a girl's manuscript out of his office door, nearly hitting me in the hall, as he shouted this. It's. Not. Writing. She came out to pick up her magnus opus moments later, weeping. Great writer, self-confessed shit teacher. Got accused of plagiarism over a paper I wrote, and didn't plagiarize, that I was really excited about because of how well I thought I did on it. Enthusiasm fully destroyed. I had a similar experience, where Marlid professor brought me in, to tell me my paper was flagged by the software for being plagiarized from over 180 other student papers from around the country. Not websites, not public articles, student papers from other schools. Longest chain of plagiarized words was 6. I laughed because I thought she was pointing out how ridiculously sensitive the software was. She was offended that I laughed at her. I asked her if she really believed that I tracked down almost 200 students to steal 3 word phrases from them and stitch them together into a paper which would take 50x the effort that it actually took to write it. Not in those exact words. I really thought I wrote a great paper. Got an A, but I think it was because she felt dumb. Edit, spelling and clarity. During quiet reading time teacher brought me to front of the class because I was reading a book for girls and he asked me back quote why are you reading a G.I. Rawls book? Are you a girl? Then made me chose a book for back quote boys to read. I was maybe 10 or 11. The book was Matilda by the way. Technically it was the vice principal, but the day my brother died, apparently he thought it would be a good idea to walk in on story time. The teacher was reading to the class, set me on his lap, and tell me in front of everyone that my brother committed suicide. We were discussing Jane Vanier and Lark. For context, Jane Vanier decided to invite two intellectually disabled men to live with him and started setting up homes for them so they wouldn't be in asylums. The teacher looked right at me, I'm disabled, and said, oh yeah, Vania created those homes, so you people wouldn't be bothering people, because the handicapped don't function in society. My friend I left just to talk it out. He got fired a few years later, because he did not have his license up to date. Cherry on top, his wife was the vice principal. One time I was on my period and I asked the teacher, to go to the bathroom multiple times, she refused to let me go. Eventually I stained my uniform in the chair I was so embarrassed that I started crying when my mother found out she made the school fire that mother ever used to love math and science until I had a teacher in 6th grade who would bully, mock, and do everything in his power to embarrass me in front of the entire class. I lost all love I had for school after that class. F you Mr. Bright. The girls in our elementary school were given proto-sex ed before the boys. The basic puberty stuff, your body is starting to change, you might develop breasts, sweating, all that stuff. They made a huge stupid deal about keeping it quiet. It's the girl's little secret. Don't go spreading it around school. It only occurs to me now that that is kinda dangerous in the wider scope of things. Anyway, my best friend was a boy and naturally, I skipped right off to tell him why suddenly half the class had an assembly all by themselves. My teacher heard about it, got me alone, grabbed me by both arms and shook me. Keep your mouth. Shut. She was my favorite teacher up till then. Totally a great thing to teach a kid. We had the same talk. They gave us holders for pads, but told us to tell boys they were pencil holders. So I said that when asked. I was teased for a long time for saying that it was a pencil holder. Sixth grade. I was 11. Hadn't been diagnosed with that, now ADHD, yet. The only way I could pay attention in class was if I doodled in the margins of my notes and bounced my legs. My history teacher noticed I did this, and if he caught me, he'd rip the page out of my notebook 
show it to the class, and marvel at what a bad student and unintelligent person I was, to everyone. Edit, if you're la suspicious about yourselves, hit up a psychiatrist for an ADHD test. These were symptoms for me, though they may not be indicative of ADHD for everyone. Talk to a professional about it.